Okay, so this time uh, we will now use uh, convolution convolution to find the inverse Laplace transform of function. So gagamit na tayo ng um, convolution sa pagkuha ng inverse Laplace transform. Say for example, I have here inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s times s plus 2. So as you can see, 1 over s times s plus 2 can be written as 1 over s times 1 over s plus 2. So as per this case, uh, inverse Laplace transform of the product of the two functions f of s multiplied by g of s is simply f of t convolved with g of t. So if so, if this is f of s or f of s is equal to 1 over s and g of s is equal to 1 over s plus 2, then f of t here is inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s which is 1 and inverse Laplace transform of g of s is g of t which is e to the minus 2t. So if so, inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s times 1 over s plus 2, which is f of s, g of s, is simply f of t convolved with g of t. So therefore, this is simply 1 convolved with e to the minus 2t. But since we have proven a while ago that convolution is commutative, so we can rewrite this as e to the minus 2t convolved with 1. So if so... This represents f of t. My f of t here is e to the minus 2t. Then f of tau is equal to e to the minus 2 tau. So since convolution of two functions f of t is integral from 0 to t of f of tau, g of t minus tau d tau. So if f of t is e to the minus 2t, f of tau is e to the minus 2 tau. Then g of t is equal to 1. Then g of t minus tau is of course one parent because this is already a constant. So the answer here must be integral from zero to t of f of tau, which is e to the minus two tau, multiplied by g of t minus tau, which is one d tau. So all I need to do is to evaluate this integral zero to t of e to the minus two tau d tau. So all I need to do is to multiply negative two here and then compensate negative one-half. So therefore, this is simply negative one-half e to the minus two tau from zero to t. So applying the limits, that's one-half e to the minus two t minus e to the zero. So that's negative one-half e to the minus two t minus one or that is equal to 1 half by distributing this negative inside the parenthesis, that's 1 minus e to the minus 2t. So therefore, this is the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s times s plus 2. Let's try another one. So if I have here inverse Laplace transform of 2s over s squared plus 4 raised to the second power, so we all know that this can be written as inverse Laplace transform of 2 over s squared plus 4 times s over s squared plus 4. So if this is f of s, this is g of s. Then if f of s is equal to 2 over s squared plus 4, then f of t is a over s squared plus a squared is simply sine of 2t. And then if g of s here is s over s squared plus 4, then g of t here is equal to cosine of 2t. So therefore, this is simply convolution of sine 2t with cosine of 2t. So if I am to convolve these two functions, if f of t is sine 2t, then f of tau is equal to sine 2 tau. Then g of t minus tau is equal to cosine 2t minus tau. So replacing t with t minus tau. So this is integral from 0 to t of sine 2 tau multiplied by cosine of 2t 
minus 2 tau by distributing that 2 inside the parenthesis d tau. So we will use here uh, difference ng angle ng cosine. So we will use cosine a minus b is equal to cos cos sin sin. So if that's a, b, a and b, if that's minus, this is plus. So this is 0 to t of sine 2 tau times the quantity cos sine 2 tau. So that is cos cos sin sin d tau. So this is 2t, 2 tau, 2t, 2 tau. So if that's minus, that gives us plus. So this is, again, we are integrating with respect to t. So therefore, t is a constant. So I must put that outside. So this is cosine 2t integral from 0 to t of sine 2 tau, cosine 2 tau, d tau, plus sine 2t is a constant and that must be put outside. Integral from 0 to t of sine times sine is sine squared 2 tau d tau. So let us try to integrate first our uh, first term. So uh, let me integrate first integral of sine 2t cosine 2 tau d tau. It's 2 tau. Sine 2 tau, cosine 2 tau d tau from 0 to t. So if that is my u, this is du provided that I need to provide 2 and then compensate 1 half. So this gives us 1 half sine squared 2 tau over 2 from 0 to t. So that gives us 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth sine squared 2t minus sine squared 0. So that is 0. So this is 1 fourth sine squared 2t. So that is the integral of sine 2 tau, cosine 2 tau, d tau. So again, gumamit ako rito ng general power formula. If u is sine 2 tau, ang derivative niya ay 2 cosine 2 tau, d tau. So provide 2 and then compensate 1 half. So that gives us 1 half sine squared. That is my 1 plus 1 is 2 over 2 from 0 to t. So applying the limits, magiging 1 fourth because 1 half times 2 here on the denominator is 1 fourth. Sine squared 2 upper limit is t minus sine squared lower limit is 0. So that gives us 1 fourth sine squared theta. So, eto pa lang yun. Then, sa next, uh, next uh, uh, slide, integrate natin yung 0 to t sine squared 2t dt. D tau. So, we are to integrate now here 0 to t of sine squared 2 tau d tau. So, this is uh, powers of sine and cosine case 2. So, that's integral from 0 to t of 1 half times the quantity 1 minus cosine twice the angle. So that gives us 4 tau d tau. So that is 1 half integral from 0 to t of d tau. So uh, distributing minus 1 half integral of cosine 4 tau d tau. So I need to provide here uh, 4 and then compensate 1 fourth outside. So this is 1 half of tau from 0 to t minus 1 over 8 sine 4 tau from 0 to t. So again, that's from 0 to t as well. That's 1 half t minus 0 minus 1 over 8 sine 4 t minus sine 4 times 0 is sine 0. But sine 0 is 0. So that's 1 half of t minus 1 8 sine 4 of t. So this must be multiplied here naman. So, therefore, ang inverse Laplace transform natin ng 2s over s squared plus 4 raised to the second power is equal now to cosine 2t times 1 fourth sine squared 2t. So, yung cosine 2t natin dito, i-multiply natin sa integral na to, which is 1 fourth 
sine squared 2t. So let me multiply cosine 2t times that. So this is 1 fourth cosine 2t sine squared 2t. So the product of cosine 2t and 1 fourth sine squared 2t is 1 fourth cosine 2t sine squared 2t. Then plus sine 2t multiplied by this one. So that's 1 half of t minus 1 over 8 sine 40. So but this sine 40, I uh, pwede natin i-simplify gamit ang double angle identity para magkakaparehas tayo ng angle. So this is 1 fourth cosine 2t sine squared 2t plus 1 half t sine 2t. Distribute natin. So magiging 1 over 8 sine 2t times yung equivalent nito using double angle identity is 2 sine 2t cosine 2t. Then that must be equal now to 1 fourth cosine 2t sine squared 2t plus 1 half t sine 2t minus this one. This and that is minus 1 fourth. Negative 1, 8 times 2 is negative 1 fourth. Sine squared, sine 2t times sine 2t is sine squared 2t. Then cosine 2t here. So that is cosine 2t. So this cancels out. So finally, we have inverse Laplace transform of 2s over s squared plus 4 raised to the second power, therefore, is equal to 1 half t sine 2t. So let us try to prove. So if I have here 1 half t sine 2t, so meron tayong formula that Laplace transform of t sine bt or 2 sine 80, e yata yung ginamit natin. Meron tayong formula that Laplace transform of t sine 80 is 2as over s squared plus a squared raised to the second power. So if I have here a formula that gives us 1 half times the quantity 2 times a, so ang a natin dito ay 2, so a is 2, so magmumultiply ako ng 2, multiplied by s, all over s squared plus a squared, so that's 2 raised to the second power, raised to the second power. So simplifying that, that gives us 4s all over 2 times the quantity s squared plus 4 raised to the second power. 4 divided by 2 is 2, so this gives us 2s over s squared plus 4 raised to the second power. So therefore, Laplace transform of 1 half t sine 2t is indeed 2s over s squared plus 4 raised to the second power. And we have proven that right gamit ang convolution of two functions. So, yun ang one of uh, the application of uh, convolution of two functions. Medyo napapa-easy niya ang pag-solve natin ng inverse Laplace transforms.